In this video, we will be performing combustion tuning on a floor mount unit. Before starting combustion, make sure that the unit is not cascaded with any other IntelliHot units. If your unit is cascaded, disconnect the cascading cable between the units before continuing. To enter combustion mode, the unit will need to operate at its maximum firing rate. We will achieve this by increasing the demand of the heat exchanger. Please do the following. Calculate the difference in temperature between the unit set point and the incoming water temperature. This is our temperature delta. Multiplying this temperature delta with the flow rate through the unit and multiplying that product by 500 will give you the load in BTU per hour. If this value is less than 250,000 BTU per hour, create more demand by increasing the flow. Note that if there is a mixing valve installed or if the hot water is currently in use, you will need to use the TNP valve to create the demand, using a hose to route the water to a drain. Keep the set point temperature set to the temperature that will be used by the facility. Next, on the display, navigate to Menu, Settings, Combustion. Calibrate your combustion analyzer to the fuel type of your unit, either natural gas or propane. Locate the air switch ports on the side cast of the heat exchanger. Remove the top port and place a piece of tubing onto the port. Place the analyzer probe into the opening on the other end of the tubing. Note. Drilling a hole in the exhaust manifold will void the warranty of the unit. For natural gas units, we want to set the CO2 on high fire between 9.1 and 9.3%. On propane units, the CO2 needs to be between 10.1 and 10.5%. Additionally, make sure the CO level is less than 200 parts per million. If an adjustment is needed, locate the high fire screw on the gas valve and turn it counterclockwise to increase the CO2 percentage and clockwise to decrease the CO2 percentage. Do not adjust more than one quarter turn at a time. When the CO2 and CO values have settled in the acceptable range for at least two minutes, you can enter low fire by pressing low fire on the display screen. Allow the unit to enter low fire. For low fire, the CO2 needs to be between 9.1 and 9.3% on natural gas units. On propane units, the CO2 needs to be between 10.1 and 10.5%. Additionally, make sure the CO level is less than 60 parts per million. If an adjustment is needed, locate the low fire screw on the gas valve and turn it clockwise to increase the CO2 percentage and counterclockwise to decrease. The low fire screw is very sensitive, so only make 1 8 turn adjustments at a time. Once the adjustments have been made, you can exit combustion mode and turn down the flow to the unit. Ensure that the air switch port is reconnected. If you have any questions, please contact product support.